This episode, I'm gonna teach you how to make sausage, peppers, and onions, which is the perfect dish when you're hosting people this beautiful summer. If you don't have a griddle like I'm using today, you can use a regular grill or even a stove top. It's a very budget-friendly option for hosting a lot of people. We used to make this kind of meal on the ship a lot, and growing up, my grandma used to make it a lot for us. You can serve it easy with pasta or on a roll. Quick shout out to Let's Chow, our sponsor of today's episode. I'll speak about them a little more later. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my Helm's Kitchen YouTube channel. You can make this recipe more or less expensive simply by the type of sausage you buy. If you want to treat yourself and your guests, grab some local sausage from the butcher. But if you're looking for the affordable option, just grab the best deal available in bulk. Cook the sausage on high heat with some oil to get a really nice crisp on them. You're also going to want to slice up some onion and bell peppers pretty thin so they cook nice and evenly together. You can mix these together and they'll caramelize together as one. We're going to season them up with some Italian seasoning, which is always delicious. And we're also going to add some red pepper for a little bit of heat. It's optional though. If you don't want that, don't go with it. Also add in some salt and pepper to taste. The sausage is going to take about five minutes on each side before we're ready to take it off which gives our veggies plenty of time to cook and marry flavors together. After a few minutes, we're going to add some sliced garlic to your peppers and onions. You can absolutely chop or mince the garlic cloves instead of slicing it like I did, but in this case, I just didn't want the garlic to overpower this recipe. But completely up to you and your preference in your kitchen. I want to thank this episode's sponsor, Let's Chow. Did you realize a staggering 24% of military families face food insecurity? It's unacceptable. That is why Let's Chow has united myself, Stronghold Pantry, and comedian Ashley Gutermuth to address this very serious problem. Through our partnership, we are teaching military families how to make affordable, healthy dinners at home. We are proud to promote culinary education, financial empowerment, and community engagement for our nation's veterans, service members, and their families. Now I want to talk to you about Let's Chow, which is a nonprofit designed to provide services for military veterans through cooking therapy, cookware donations, culinary education, and business advice for anyone from home chefs to aspiring food truck or restaurant owners. They manage veteran-run food trucks in Annapolis, Atlantic City, Fort Lauderdale, and San Diego. Let's Chow also offers online digital training at their website where you can find a 10 lesson program that will take you from knife cuts to perfect steak dinner and prepare you for a national certificate in food service sanitation management. If you're interested in learning more about them, visit them at letschow.org. If you're making this meal to entertain people over summer, just multiply my recipe, which I'm gonna link in the description by the amount that you're serving. I'd recommend buying some rolls, slicing them in half, and toasting them to serve as sandwiches. It's a pretty affordable option that also gives a nice wow factor to your guests or family indulging in the meal, because sometimes you still wanna wow them even on a budget, right? Also, if you want to get wild, you can always add some marinara to the sandwich or mozzarella or parmesan cheese as well. It sits really well together and tastes delicious. You can also mix this recipe into pasta of your choice and add a sauce of your choice, making it the perfect freezer meal option, which is always a great idea to save money during the week. After about 10 minutes or so, you can remove your sausages from the heat and get ready to slice them on a bias. Now, slicing them on a bias, it just means slicing them at a 45 degree angle or so. This makes the meat a little more tender and have a better bite to it. It also makes it look a lot more aesthetically pleasing instead of cutting the typical circles basically that you might usually cut, right? After you slice these up, you're gonna toss them back on the griddle and mix together the peppers and onions with them so that flavor truly incorporates throughout every single ingredient especially because we want those onions and peppers to absorb all that greasy goodness that the sausage provides. I'll link the recipe below in the description. And again, make sure you check out letschow.org. If you enjoyed this episode, I bet you'll also like my griddle fried rice. I'll link that above and below in the description.